Hey, Engineering One students, this is Mr. Swift. I just wanted to show you um, a little game I've been working on with another student. And this one, uh, we have a start screen and a game over screen. I just wanted to show you one possible way to make that happen. So as we run our game, um, you'll see the start screen, press space bar to start. If I hit the space bar, now you can see where my game is going. And as I run into objects, now I'm in the game over screen. So um, what I've done is I, in the animation, there is a start screen sprite. And then within my code, I have my start screen um, right here in line 26. And one of the um, sprite code functions I have is start, my start is visible. And that's a one, meaning that is true. Um, I can also type in the word true there. So one and true mean the same thing. So, um, and then um, in, within my draw function, I have an if statement. Key down is the space bar. And if that happens, then my sprite called start visible goes false or zero. So here I can also type in false. And that would mean the same as zero. So if I hit run, Space bar to start, and then my game is going. Now, as the game plays, um, it, the skier hits rocks, and then if it touches too many rocks, then we have a game over screen that becomes visible. So that's true. So if I come over to animation, down here I have a game over screen. And you'll notice on that I have uh, credits here, created by first name, last initial. And so if we again look at our code, if the skier touches a rock, the game over screen becomes visible. So I hope this has helped you. I'll put a link to this game so that you can see the code on your own um, on the slide within the daily agenda for March 26. So uh, I hope this helped. I will have office hours from 12 to 3 on Friday if you need any help. And uh, good luck, everybody. Let me know if I can help you out.